Hey everyone, welcome back to an exciting video. Well, sort of. Uh, we have a new update to Adrenaline. We're now at version 7.0. How exciting is that? Now, I'm just going to throw it out there before we even get started. It's not going to run on anything newer. It's not going to run on 3.73 or 3.70. It's still running on 3.68, I believe. But I wanted to talk about the reason why this is a good thing, why we're seeing this new update and why we should be looking forward to in the future when it comes to this amazing application. So if you're unfamiliar with Adrenaline, it basically runs the entire interface, everything that involves with the PSP, recovery menu, themes, games, movies, music, whatever, everything on your PS Vita through this application. So. This is one of the best applications out there for the PS Vita, for the homebrew scene, and it's just amazing. So we're going to take a look at the new update, and also there is a new plugin that allows you to run the PSP games on native resolution, but it's a little, it's a little uh, risky on using that because it's not going to work for most games. So we're just going to take a look at that. I'm not going to install it. Or show you how to install it because I feel like it's not worth it but we'll take a look and see what's going on so let's head on over to the PC and get started all right so here we are on our PC and I'm really digging this whole uh, setup here I know I talked about this in another video but I really love this let me know in the comment section what you think about this whole setup and what I can do to improve it and before we get started, thank you so much for Alejandro Bautista for subscribing. And we surpassed 17,400 subscribers. And big shout out to you under like fish sticks for the $5 super chat. Thank you so much. That is our latest donation to the channel. And we will be having some merch coming in pretty soon. So stay tuned for that. We're going to be having some PSP adapters and the PS Vita adapters custom with logos and stuff like that, I think it's gonna be really cool. So, Adrenaline has a new update, version seven. Exciting, sort of. Uh, the reason why it's exciting is because they're continuing to update this app and work on it. So, there is very strong, very, very strong hope that one day it will be working for 3.73, which a lot of you are on. And they're still, haven't cracked that yet, but hopefully they will in the future. Now, I'm not going to be updating to version 7 because I think it's just not worth it to go through all that just to have the ability to use this plugin, which I'll be talking about here in just a second. And big shout out to Retro Jeremy for letting me know about this update. Let's head on over to the desktop and take a look at what this plugin is all about. Now, I was going to cover this plugin. In a video but I didn't really like what I was reading and I don't like to be a guinea pig right I don't want to go through uh, problems so this plugin is one of the latest one of the newest plugins to be released in the PS Vita a homebrew scene and this was initially commit let's see initial comet 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 don't know how to pronounce that but this was released 12 days ago and there has been a lot of changes, a lot of fixes, because we're at version 0.18.1. You can see all the different changes there. Interesting. So in basic language or terms, it just allows you to have the PSP games and PS1 games look a lot nicer. I'm not sure about PS1 games, but for sure the PSP games. Now, as I'm reading, it says right here, this is an experimental plugin for adrenaline experimental i would be very hesitant on trying this plugin out and just be very careful when messing around with all these different new homebrew plugins etc there is a full spreadsheet where they show you all the games that they've been testing and from the community they give their uh, notes as well and this is a whole google spreadsheets we have like 36 people or 41 total viewers it looks like constantly uh, going through here and I'm seeing a lot of yellow a lot of orange a lot of red not enough green for me to give it a shot and this list is pretty huge here 
It's it's massive. And I don't want to really go through the time and, you know, going through all that just to see if something might work. And I'm seeing a lot of glitches. After they install this plugin, they're starting to see issues with these games. So if your adrenaline is running perfectly fine, don't even worry about it. I wouldn't even worry about uh, having the native resolution until it's fully developed fully complete fully working the new update to adrenaline which is version 7 just allows you to run the new plugin so the new uh, patch or the new ge patch version 0 0.18 and you have to update to adrenaline version 7 in order for you to use the latest version of that plugin as you can see here it says move native display buffer to a different location so GE patch works for some more games, which is good. Please note that only G patch version 0 0.18 or above will only work. Older versions will cause a black screen. If you're using GT and GTA natives res, please download the latest binary as well. So I don't know if it's something you want to try, go for it. But the reason why I'm making this video is to give hope to you guys there is hope that one day this will work for 3.73 and this is an amazing thing to see although i'm not going to be using it and it's not like a really huge deal but it's still pretty cool to see something like this worked on it's they're still updating it they're still trying to mess around with different things like updating to native resolution that is really cool so i'm really excited to see what else we're going to be looking at with adrenaline hopefully we'll be getting the update that everyone is looking for and i'm not saying that this update sucks or this update is not worth your time or whatever i'm just saying that for me personally i wouldn't try it just because just for one plugin to update it to the latest i mean if you're like i said if you have an adrenaline that's working perfectly fine there's no reason for you to update to the new version so uh, I did comment to Retro Jeremy saying, hey, I'm not going to make a video on it because there's just not enough features, not enough updates for me to cover in a video. But here we are covering it. And like I said, I wanted to let you guys know about every single update when it comes to an amazing application like Adrenaline. So I'm here making this video, giving you guys the updates to everything that happens in the homebrew community when it comes to the PS Vita which I love so much, and I know you do too. So hopefully, guys, cross your fingers, and we'll get that update that we're all looking for. Well, most of you on 3.73, and you're just not able to downgrade, or you just don't want to go through that uh, pain, which is not really that difficult. And I will be coming out with a really extensive step-by-step -step guide on how to hack and downgrade your PS Vita 2000. So it's gonna be a really chill video. It's not gonna be fully edited. It's gonna be very paced, very slow paced, and that way you can take your time going through and understanding all the different issues and problems you may come across when going through the entire process of downgrading, hacking, whatever. So that is it for this one, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Any comments, leave them down below. And make sure to give this video a thumbs up. It helps me out with the whole YouTube algorithm. That way, there's more enthusiasts, more people that would like to find these types of videos and join the community. Thank you, guys. Take care, and I'll see you on the next one. Hey, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you enjoy my content, please hit that subscription button here on my face and that notification bell so you don't miss a video in the future. And if you're looking for PSP content, I have that playlist right here for you. And PS Vita content right down below, that full playlist. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Take care, and I'll see you 